Have you ever felt like towards the end of the year you felt a bit sort of like directionless, you're not, you're sort of aimless? You know what, you can turn that right around today and really try and crush it before Christmas. First thing I'd get you to do is write three headline goals. Three headline goals that you want to achieve between now and Christmas. And I would centre these goals around, number one, a headline goal around your business, a headline goal of something personal, and the third headline goal is something that could impact someone you love or someone that's really close to you. You see, sometimes we get more enjoyment of doing something for someone else than we do for ourselves. So I'd really recommend that you put your third like headline goal as making an impact for someone else. So first business goal is, what's the business goal that you want to achieve between now and Christmas? It could be like a GCI goal. For some people that's gross commission income who don't know what GCI stands for. The second could be maybe how many sales you'd like to achieve between now and Christmas. Maybe the next one could be having the amount of listings that you'd like to take. And I'd also put in there as a bonus, as a goal, how many listings do you want to take for 2017? So when you come back from holidays, you guess what? You just hit the ground running. The second one is a personal goal. Like I've got some people now who are like, you know, wanting to lose X amount of weight or, you know, get to a gym or exercise, whatever it may be. I'm not sure, do a cooking course. Work out what a personal goal you would like to do because remember this, um, you know, sometimes we try and make everyone else happy, but sometimes we've got to find happiness within. And, you know, if, if you know Robin Williams, who was a great actor, you know, won an Academy Award, not just for being a great comedian in movies, but also won an Academy Award for drama. And, you know, his wife was happy, his children were happy, and he made all of us laugh and made us happy. But at the end of the day, he wasn't happy within himself. And, you know, sometimes to please other people, we've got to find happiness within. So I'd really recommend you sitting down and writing down a personal goal that you really want to achieve that's going to make you happy. And the third one, obviously, is think about like something that you really want to have an impact on someone. I remember this is like going back 13 years ago. My father hadn't been back to the homeland. And if you don't know where I'm from, I originally was born in Chile, came out here with like, you know, in, when I was like nine months old, dad came here with like 20 bucks in his pocket. And you know, I'll tell you that story for another day, but he hadn't seen his family in like 33 years. I tell him he hadn't seen his mother or his brother and sisters and he came from a big family, a family of like six siblings. And here's the thing, like I wanted to do something special in 03 for him is taking back to the motherland and having spent Christmas with his mother and his brothers and sisters. And I've got to tell you, there's one thing that I suppose that I'll remember and you can't take the money, you can't take the cars, you can't take everything else, but one thing you can take with you is memorable moments. And that was a real memorable moment that we created because on Christmas day, we brought him out to his mother, who at the time was probably, she would have been in her sort of 80s, mid 80s at that time. She passed away just recently, um, just over a year ago now. But you know what? Still gives me goosebumps today and right now I'm talking to you in front of this camera and I'm feeling goosebumps of that day and I created that memorable moment. Question is, what can you do that can create an impact on one of your loved ones, family, friends, whoever that is really special to you? So write down your three banner goals or headline goals as we like to call them. And finally, what are the actions that you will do on a weekly basis to hit that goal by Christmas? Because around business, there's one thing that we want to feel. We want to feel a level of certainty. You don't want to come back in 2017 feeling uncertain about your business. Don't fall into a coma. Make sure you come back with some really strong, high energy around your business and feeling good. Write down that personal goal that you want to have. What's the action that you will take between now and Christmas with that personal goal? Is it about losing weight? Remember, make yourself happy first because happiness comes within and then it's filtered out through to others. And the last one is the art of giving. Nothing makes a human being feel more fulfilled than giving to someone else. So do something special to a loved one, family or friend. And once you tie these three goals together that you achieve by the end of the year, you'll be sitting down on Christmas Day, high-fiving your family, giving them hugs and kisses, and then you will have that level of fulfillment.